Firenze è partito un po' prima. Però c'era tre, no, due, c'era due macchine, noi tre. Ma se io sono abbastanza veloce. We can see uh, that is a perfect position to see the mountains in front of us. Uh, and now we need to turn right and you will be you will see the mountain on the left side. There are the marbles mountains. So uh, the white Carvara marble coming from these mountains, the white spots you can see it's no snow, it's a marble. That is the quarry, so where the, the, the David of Michelangelo coming from, that, the, the marble for the David of Michelangelo coming from that, that mountains, or if you have a kitchen bench at home, coming, uh, the white Carrara marble coming from this, these mountains. Can you imagine in the uh, 16th centuries when the Michelangelo decided to choose the, the block of marble, the marble coming from that mountain going to Florence. Now, in one hour, we will be in Florence uh, uh, via this motorway, but in that time, it spent a few months uh, to move the, uh, the block of the marble uh, from, from there to Florence. Just behind the forest on the left side, there is Pisa. Pisa is just here. Uh, it's uh, just uh, 15, 20 minutes from, from Livorno. We will drive on the motorway for 20 minutes, 20 minutes more or less, and after that we will exit from the from the motorway, going to the countryside, and we will drive on top of the hills, and it will be a little windy. Before that, we will stop at the uh, the service station uh, for the uh, toilet stop, and because we don't have. Uh, service session on the way go to San Gimignano, that's uh, the best way. Uh, I forgot to, to introduce the, our driver. The driver is Mario. Mario, uh, say oh, buongiorno to everyone. So, that's the most important person in, in the bus. On the left side, you can see the mountains and the, uh, and the big mountain, the big one. That's we call it Monte Pisano with the antenna on the top. On the other side, we have Lucca. Lucca is the other medieval town uh, of Tuscany, enemy of Pisa for a long, long time. And uh, on the right side, we are there is a San Gimignano in the our direction, the Chianti direction where we are going. So, I think you can hear my Italian accent, just a little bit. I, I am an indigenous from Pisa. I was born and bred just uh, at the bottom of this mountain. My village is uh, just here. So, where do you come from? Which nationality I have in this bus today? Texas. Texas. America. Yes. Now, <laughs> Texas. States. United States, not America. But Texas. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> Texas. Missouri. 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 Americani. Yeah. Or Americani. We say Americani. No? <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> okay. Sorry for, for the Italian <laughs> standard. It's when we say um, Americani, we say oh, okay. from the yeah. south to the north altogether. But I know the difference now. <laughs> okay. So. 
that is the industrial uh, uh, area uh, of Livorno. So Livorno is the second largest city of Tuscany. Uh, Tuscany is one of the 20 regions we have uh, in Italy. It's uh, like a state. Uh, and the capital is Florence, Firenze. In Italian we say Firenze. You can see the sign here on the, uh, on the bottom Y. You can see Florence, but just Firenze. Florence is the medieval name of, uh, of Firenze. We say Florencia in the medieval name. So the English uh, way is more ancient, ancient than, than us. So we have uh, the change. <coughs>
freddo? No, credo che sono, sono spogliati.
when we close the other uh, stop, so it's stop on the left side, you can see the turbines, the windmill, that is Ponte d'Era. This city, uh, we invented the Vespa scooter. So the, the, the Vespa was uh, invented here 72, 75 years ago, and we still have the, the main office of the, the production. Uh, of the Vespa and the tiny, tiny museum of the history of the, the Vespa scooter. So when they come back in the summertime, you can hire a Vespa and have a, and a Vespa to, you know, without drink. <laughs> so just 10 minutes and uh, toilet stop here and uh, ready to go. Of uh, a semi, uh, yes, it's a little bit a twist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is Ponte I told you before, and that is the uh, Piaggio factories. Uh, Piaggio is the family who produced the <coughs> the Vespa. The Piaggio is a big family in Italy. They produce uh, the. Did you see the airplane when they have uh, the flags, uh, the white? Uh, with the smokes, uh, when we have acro acrobatic plane. So that's a, we, uh, the Italian um, air force to use uh, a special uh, air plane. It's a, made by Piaggio. Uh, it's a, a special uh, plane uh, made not here, but in a factory in a factory in um, in Genoa, uh, going to uh, to France. So that is Ponte d'Era. And Ponte d'Era is the place where uh, Andrea Bocelli used to come to school because Andrea Bocelli was born in a village next door here. Uh, I think you know this name. And that is the place where we, because that is the main city in the area. So Andrea Bocelli uh, once a year organized a, a concert on the hill, so we would pass very close to the, his uh, place. Uh, in July, at the end of July, uh, there is a big concert in Open A Theatre, and now it's uh, coming from 2006, uh, so it's so more than 10 years, 12 years now, and uh, it's uh, to raise money for charities. At the beginning uh, was um, uh, to raise the money for the uh, liver transplant section of Pisa Hospital because the father was died for the liver problems and now he is uh, with the money uh, rise they built uh, schools uh, music schools around the world uh, he built five schools in Haiti after the earthquakes and the, the kids from Haiti last year they come in to sing with the Andrea Bocelli, oh. so that's very very nice. Yes. Next year will be the 25th of uh, July, the concert. If you would like to come back, <laughs> that is the date to to do this.
in front of us there is there are the signs uh, when the the advertising of the concert we had the last year this year no last year this year in july of the andrea bocelli and for the first time uh, uh, the concert the performance was a real opera uh, not like uh, music or songs uh, with a uh, lots of uh, artists that come in uh, usually but this year used to be a real opera it was the Andrea Chenier and was the, the first opera Andrea Bocelli who saw when I was a kid so it was a dream for him to uh, to sing in, a, in an opera on this kind of opera